Pancreas Introduction and Features Pancreas is an elongated, accessory digestive gland that lies on posterior abdominal wall at the level of L1 and L2 vertebrae. It lies mostly posterior to the stomach, in epigastric and left hypochondriac regions. It is a secondary retroperitoneal organ. It is an exoendocrine gland which produces an exocrine secretion, pancreatic juice from the acinar cells, that enters the duodenum through the main and accessory pancreatic ducts and helps in digestion of lipids, carbohydrates, and proteins. Endocrine secretions, glucagon and insulin from the pancreatic islets that enter the blood and helps in maintaining glucose homeostasis. It is J-shaped or retort-shaped and bowel of retort represents head of pancreas and stem of retort represents neck, body, and tail of pancreas. Measurements Length is 15 to 20 centimeters Width is 3 to 4 centimeters Thickness 1.5 to 2 centimeters Weight 80 to 90 grams Parts of pancreas For descriptive purposes, pancreas is subdivided into four parts Head with the uncinate process Neck Body with tuber omental And tail Head of pancreas It is enlarged, disc-shaped, flattened right end of pancreas Lies in the concavity of C-shaped duodenal loop at L2 vertebrae External features Head of pancreas has three borders, superior, inferior, and right lateral, two surfaces, anterior and posterior, and one process, the uncinate process. Uncinate process is a projection, hook-like process from lower and left part of the head, which extends towards the left behind superior mesenteric vessels. Relations Superior border is related to the first part of the duodenum and superior pancreatico-duodenal artery. Inferior border is related to the third part of duodenum and inferior pancreatico-duodenal artery. Right lateral border is related to the second part of the duodenum and anastomosis between two pancreatico-duodenal arteries. Anterior surface is related from above downward to the first part of duodenum, transverse colon, root of transverse mesocolon, jejunum. Posterior surface is related to the inferior vena cava, left renal vein, bile duct, and right crux of diaphragm. Uncinate process is related to anteriorly superior mesenteric vessels and posteriorly to abdominal aorta. Neck of the pancreas. It is a slightly constricted part of gland between head and body. It is 2.5 cm long and is directed forwards, upwards, and to the left. External features. Neck of pancreas has two surfaces, anterior and posterior, and two borders, upper and lower. Relations. Anterior surface is related to pylorus. Posterior surface is related to termination of superior mesenteric vein and beginning of the portal vein. Upper border is related to the first part of the duodenum. The lower border is related to the root of transverse mesocolon. Body of the pancreas. It is an elongated part of pancreas extending from neck to tail. It lies to the left of the superior mesenteric vessels, passing over the aorta and L2 vertebra. External features It is triangular in cross-section and has three borders. Anterior, superior, and inferior. Three surfaces, anterior, posterior, and inferior and one process, tuber omental. 
tuber omentale is a projection from part of the body above the lesser curvature of stomach. Relations Anterior border provides attachment to root of transverse mesocolon. Superior border is related to celiac artery above tuber omentale, hepatic artery right of tuber omentale, and splenic artery left of tuber omentale. Inferior border related to superior mesenteric vessels. Anterior surface, concave and directed forward and upward, is related to lesser sac and stomach. Posterior surface, devoid of peritoneum, is related to aorta and origin of superior mesenteric artery. Left crux of diaphragm, left suprarenal gland, left kidney, left renal vessels, and splenic vein. Inferior surface covered by peritoneum is related to duodeno-jejunal flexure, coils of jejunum, and left colic flexure. Tail of pancreas. It is the narrow left end of pancreas that lies in the lino-renal ligament along with splenic vessels. The distal segment of the tail is intraperitoneal. It contains large number of islets of Langerhans per unit of tissue compared to other parts of the gland. It is related to visceral surface of spleen between gastric impression and colic impression. Ducts of pancreas. Two ducts, main and accessory, drain exocrine secretion into duodenum. Main pancreatic duct of Wurzung. It begins in the tail and travels along the whole length of gland near its posterior surface. It begins at the tail and runs towards the right through the body and at the neck it runs downwards and to the right in head. It is 3 mm in diameter. In a herringbone pattern, main pancreatic duct receives small tributaries at acute angle throughout its length. It pierces the duodenal wall by joining the bile duct to form hepatopancreatic ampulla of vatter, which opens into the descending part of the duodenum at the apex of the major duodenal papilla, which is 8 to 10 cm distal to pylorus. The smooth muscle sphincters, sphincter of the pancreatic duct around the terminal part of the pancreatic duct, sphincter of the bile duct around the termination of the bile duct, and the hepatopancreatic sphincter of Audi around the hepatopancreatic ampulla control the flow of bile and pancreatic juice into the ampulla and prevent reflux of duodenal content into the ampulla. An important point to note here is that the majority of pancreatic malignancies are located in the head of the pancreas and originate from epithelial cells within the tubules. Accessory pancreatic duct of Santorini. It begins in the lower part of head and then runs upward and medially, crossing in front of main pancreatic duct. The accessory pancreatic duct opens into the second part of duodenum at the tip of the minor duodenal papilla, 2 to 3 cm above the opening of main pancreatic duct, or 6 to 8 cm distal to pylorus. Usually, the accessory duct communicates with the main pancreatic duct. In some cases, the main pancreatic duct is smaller than the accessory pancreatic duct, and the two may not be connected. In such cases, the accessory duct carries most of the pancreatic juice. Arterial supply. Pancreas is highly vascular structure and supplied by the following arteries. Splenic artery, which is a branch of the celiac artery. It is the main source of blood supply to body and tail of pancreas. As many as 10 branches may pass from the splenic artery to the body and tail of pancreas. One large branch, known as Arteria pancreatica magna, arises near tail end and runs towards the neck. Another small branch, known as Arteria caudae pancreatica, runs towards the tip of tail. Gastroduodenal artery from the common hepatic artery, a branch of celiac trunk. Anterior superior pancreaticoduodenal artery from the gastroduodenal artery. 
posterior superior pancreatic duodenal artery from gastrodiodenal artery. Anterior inferior pancreatic duodenal artery from the inferior pancreatic duodenal artery, a branch of the superior mesenteric artery. And posterior inferior pancreatic duodenal artery from the inferior pancreatic duodenal artery, a branch of the superior mesenteric artery. Both superior and inferior pancreatic duodenal arteries divide into anterior and posterior branches and form anterior and posterior pancreatic duodenal arterial arcades by running between concavity of the duodenum and head of pancreas. Venous drainage Head and neck, pancreatic veins to the superior mesenteric vein to the portal vein. Body and tail, pancreatic veins to splenic vein to the portal vein. Lymphatic drainage, the pancreatic lymphatic vessels follow the arteries. Most vessels end in the pancreaticosplenic lymph nodes which lie along the splenic artery. Some vessels end in the pyloric lymph nodes. Efferent vessels from these nodes drain to the superior mesenteric lymph nodes or to the celiac lymph nodes. Nerve supply. Sympathetic supply is from splanchnic nerves, which are vasomotor. Parasympathetic supply is from vagus nerve, which control pancreatic secretions. Pancreatic secretions are also influenced by hormone cholecystokinin, produced by cells in duodenal epithelium. Parasympathetic and sympathetic fibers reach the pancreas by passing along the arteries from the celiac plexus and superior mesenteric plexus. Development Pancreas is developed from two separate buds, dorsal bud and the ventral bud larger dorsal bud. It arises proximally, directly from duodenum and forms part of head, whole of neck, body, and tail of pancreas. Duct of dorsal pancreatic bud forms main pancreatic duct with duct of ventral bud. Proximal part of duct of dorsal pancreatic duct forms accessory pancreatic duct. Smaller ventral bud. It arises in common with hepatic bud of liver and forms uncinate process and inferior part of head of pancreas. Duct of ventral bud opens into duct of dorsal pancreatic bud near its neck and forms main pancreatic duct which opens into duodenum. Clinical Significance Pancreatitis It is the inflammation of the pancreas. Etiology, most commonly due to gallstones and alcohol consumption. Symptoms include upper abdominal pain, which may be severe and constant and may reach to the back, nausea, vomiting, weight loss, diabetes, low blood pressure, heart failure, fatty stools, mild jaundice, and kidney failure. Diabetes mellitus. It is characterized by hyperglycemia that is caused by an inadequate production of insulin or inadequate action of insulin on body tissues. Types Type 1 diabetes, also known as insulin-dependent diabetes, in which the pancreas or beta cells produce an insufficient amount of insulin. Type 2 diabetes, which results from insulin resistance of target tissues, a condition in which the body fails to properly use insulin or fails to respond properly to insulin action. Symptoms Polyuria, excessive secretion of urine, polydipsia, thirst, infections of urinary tract, tiredness, weight loss, and blurring of vision. Complications Diabetic retinopathy, neuropathy, kidney failure, heart disease, stroke, and limb disease. Annular pancreas, a congenital pancreatic malformation caused by abnormal rotation of the ventral bud of the pancreas around the foregut during embryonic development. A ring of pancreatic tissue persists around the duodenum causing constriction of it. 
can manifest prenatally with the polyhydramnias or postnatally with vomiting. Symptoms: antenatal polyhydramnias, postnatal feeding difficulties, non-bilious vomiting, abdominal distension. Adults: abdominal postprandial distension, epigastric pain, non-bilious vomiting. Imaging findings. Double bubble sign on X-ray if duodenal stenosis is present. Accessory pancreatic tissue, rare condition in which small groups of pancreatic cells separate from the pancreas. It may be found in duodenum, most common site, stomach, small intestine, Meckel's diverticulum, greater omentum, and hilum of spleen. They are usually single. Yellowish lobulated nodules, which contain islets of Langerhans. Cystic fibrosis. Cystic fibrosis is caused by a defective chloride channel that impairs pancreatic water and electrolyte secretion. This results in obstruction of pancreatic ducts, with subsequent mild digestion and malabsorption.